An Islamic extremist group with reported ties to Al-Qaeda is holding a news conference calling for the fall of capitalism and the rise of an Islamic empire. The organization is not recognized by the State Department as a terror group, but some terrorism experts say it may be even more dangerous than many groups on the terror list. Protesters gather outside a South Suburban hotel where a controversial Islamic group holds what's believed to be its first ever conference in the United States. Good evening, everyone. The gathering is called The Fall of Capitalism and Rise of Islam. The organization holding it is called Hizb ut -Tahrir. It is dismissing democracy and advocating uniting Muslim countries under one ruler. The protesters claim that the group has ties to terrorism. Organizers deny that. ...could spread like wildfire across the Middle East and into...
We're already seeing it. It's called the coming insurrection. Will democracy take shape or will a radical Islamic caliphate soon form? We need the army to keep Egypt uh, from, from moving in the direction of an Islamic caliphate. One word. Caliphate. 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 The caliphate is driving some. This isn't driven by the caliphate. It's caliphate. All Islamic governments would unify under a caliphate. That's a caliphate. Saudi Arabia, God help them. I don't know what happens to those guys. Look, you can call it a new world order or a caliphate. is being divvied up and the uber left and the islamicists and the global elites are are moving in the same direction here is the caliphate this is where the muslim uh islamists held a great portion of the united states of the world i'm sorry spreading all the way into europe what is happening in egypt is one of those great reminders of how important the press is it's the caliphate the spread of a caliphate you can't do this by yourself. You need friends. You need allies. The same people are telling you now that the Muslim Brotherhood and the fall of Egypt is all about freedom. It is not. It is not about freedom. It is not about democracy. It is about an Islamic state. So there's the tune in because it's dynamite. Well, Islamists made a strong showing in Tunisia's election. And Libya's new leader is talking about Islamic law. That's why some say Islam, not democracy is dominating the so-called Arab Spring. And it's fueling talk about the possible restoration of what's known as the Islamic Caliphate. Between the issue of the agreement with the Kufar and the Fiqhiyya and the peace of the beautiful and between the authority of the Sharia, the Aqadiyya, which does not accept the discussion and the discussion. And you will be able to do all the effort and you will be able to do all the effort on what is the essential and necessary for the Islam. To be able to accept وتوثق وتنص على أن تكون الشريعة الإسلامية هي مصدر التشريع ويبطل كل ما يخالفها من مواد الدستور والقانون نحن كدولة إسلامية اتخذنا الشريعة الإسلامية المصدر الأساسي للتشريع ومن ثم ومن ثم فإن أي قانون فإن أي قانون يعارض المبادئ الإسلامية للشريعة الإسلامية فهو معطل قانونا Look at what you're surrounded by. Iraq is really important, especially to the Shiites, especially to the tour in charge of this country right now. Because what is in Iraq? There's one place that we told our bombers not to bomb. Does anybody know what it was? Two wars in Iraq. We said, no bombing there. Ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon. Why? Because the Bible tells us that that is the seat right here of power of a global evil empire. Well, that's also where the 12th Imam from Iran is supposedly going to show up. Everybody on this side wants 
ancient Babylon for their caliphate. سيناقش المؤتمر الخيارات المطروحة امام الامة والبدائل التي تمكنها من استعادة عزتها وامتلاك ارادتها السياسية ونحن <تصفيق>